Yeah, I think my favourite play is probably Richard III, which is quite a damaged. When I say play, I think the character I love because I just think he's damaged. I think he's a result of... He's almost like a Frankenstein type of character with the, his circumstances causes a malevolence and a, an anger and a poison to exude, which he explains at the beginning of the play and then proceeds to show you his uh, metal and his... I don't like the word evil, but I think malevolence is the word. It's great. It's just fantastically, <laughs> scarily brilliant. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because recently I just read The Count of Monte Cristo by Dumas, and um, it's one of those books that you've sort of thought about reading for a long, long time, and what it did was actually wake me up to the fact that it's one of the most influential books probably ever written in terms of revenge. And that's funny, I talked about Richard III, because, again, it's sort of... You're not a million miles from it, but you have this in-depth precision of revenge that is just mind-blowing. Yeah, that would be the book, Count of Monte Cristo. But then, you know, as an 18-year-old, I sort of loved jazz. So I read things like Beneath the Underdog by Charles Mingus and read a lot of biographies of American jazz musicians, which I think were really important for me because they sort of told of the complexity of race and intellect and expectation of culture, of what you were expected to be and what these guys were actually becoming, which was virtuoso, and yet having to sort of deal in a sort of really quite clandestine, gangster, low-key world which with high art, which I loved as well. So there's been many books, and I just say to anybody, you know, read, 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 because it does, as I think somebody said, it's like a conversation with a great people of the past and it's worth doing. So books have been really important to me all my life, actually, so yeah. The, the, the writer that I've really enjoyed recently has been Jonathan Franson. I've just read the corrections and uh, again, I just, I, what can I say, but precision, just a precision and a knowledge of um, human condition. And as I get into the sort of more senior years of my life, I start to appreciate the, the politics of family and the difficulties we face. And I mean, as a father of four kids and been with my wife for 26 years, so it's lovely to sort of share some of that. And actually, it's quite healing to read great writers writing about family. So yeah, Franson has been somebody who's popped up in my life recently. But there are so many, and it's, I've got to say, the respect I have for writers is phenomenal because it's, it's a lonely, isolated, difficultly scary and truth-telling environment and you have to bear your soul. So to all the writers out there, I just have absolute respect, you know. And who knows, one day, hopefully, there may be one in there. But that would be a, a joy to draw, join that sort of, I would say, fraternity, but that family. So, yeah, there's many, many great writers. But I've just read a bit. Tonight, I think I just did... Well, I did. I didn't think it. But I've just done The Remains of the Day and, oh, my God. What a book. What a book. So, they're everywhere, people. Pick them up, read them. That's fantastic. Thank you.